Good morning everybody, this is me Abhijiv here Having some nice fantastic day today It's a new year so we're gonna come with something really new A lot of people I guess have been waiting for this It's called OpenMW installation And by the way, I will not say this again All of the links to all of the mods that I use Are in the description This is the official website Click the downloads and there are two versions one is nightly version and uh, you know the normal version nightly version is kind of unstable so we're gonna go with the normal version openmw so we're gonna click download from github and then this is the uh, from the time i'm recording this it's this is the latest version let's scroll all the way down and here's the thing windows 64 version so we're gonna click save file hello guys the first thing you need to do is double click the openmw exe file uh, click next 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 And when you reach this place, uh, click browse, go to the official Morrowind directory, double click data files and double click Morrowind ESM, then click next, next, next. Okay, this is the official OpenMW software screen. The next thing you need to do is download more organizer 2. Uh, download the archive version. Once you download the zip file, just drag and drop on a uh, custom creator folder. Drag and drop on this separate bar and pin it. Well, once you select more organizer 2, this will be the bar. Click uh, create new instance. Type Morrowind guide YouTube. Click OK. Click OK again, browse your Morrowind game, uh, that means the Morrowind main directory where the Morrowind exe is located and you click uh, select folder and it's asking me if, you, if I want to learn the tutorial I'm going to click no. So you'll be treated with something like this. Uh, we're going to add some mods right. Now we're gonna click the CD icon. Let's start off installing the mods. First, with the Patch for Purist mod that fixes a lot of bugs. After you install it, click the tick button. Next, we're gonna go with the Morrowind optimization patch that optimizes uh, the textures and may gives more FPS. After we've done that, click the CD icon again. Uh, we're gonna choose graphic herbalism optional smooth textures why the hell not click ok graphic herbalism lets you to actually pluck the flowers and the next mode we're gonna install is slit slider bump mapped this is gonna improve the texture of that slit slider so the next mode is more and enhanced textures install that it's gonna take a while the next is high quality textures that would gonna make the ground look much better with that out of the way let's just install some about still striders uh, before installing that we're gonna right click it click open in explorer we're gonna delete TR2002 that means Tamra Rebuild if you are using Tamra Rebuild uh, then that's necessary and otherwise just click delete click exit click tick refresh the page by clicking F5 yeah now the next important mode is none other than Lysol's Vivek normal map before OpenMW this mode is actually normal map mode from Lyso. Make sure to check out other mods that supports normal mapping. Normal mapping, like I said, it makes the things 
uh, look 3D, which is amazing. After that, go to Documents, My Games, OpenMW, and click on Settings. Scroll down and uh, you know, go to the very end and click Enter because we're going to type something here like what it said. And uh, Lysol mode is you have to add something like this auto use object maps and things like that so we're gonna copy all of that add them in here since all of the headings and subheadings are made with a space left behind we're gonna leave a space in between the camera and the shaders like this you click save and voila now the normal maps would work with uh, OpenMW. Now a few more things to tell you guys. First select OpenMW Launcher and then click Run. There is a section called Data Files. When you click Data Files, usually you will see a lot of uh, empty boxes. Tick this, okay? Now go back to the play section, click play. When you go to options, when you click the video, there is something called water. So if it is actually turned on, uh, this is the default water. So when you turn on the water shader, it's going to look like that. You could change the settings, uh, even the distance, you know, view distance, the, vid the video, you could tweak the resolution from here itself by the way you could use this as well you don't need an extra mod to actually play using a controller and i don't want to expand this video by discussing about you know everything that is functional and the capabilities of openmw uh, you could go and check the official website and read the description or whatever with that out of the way, I will be live streaming this game possibly in the future and more RPG games on the get go. On my official Twitch channel, the links to that channel will be in the description as well. So make sure to go there and give a support by clicking the follow button. With that out of the way, see you guys the next time with a new video. Until then, bye.